Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDectic and the Ionic Academy. Today we will implement simple local notifications to our Ionic app. So I've already started a blank new app and we can go ahead and first of all install the Ionic native local notifications package. So if you're starting a new Ionic 3 app currently, um, you will already have the core package for Ionic native uh, installed. Uh, where is it? Right here. Um, and we need to install the sub package for local notifications, of course. We also need the Cordova plugin. So what we need to add is um, the plugin and especially we check out the branch for iOS 10. So there's a, a specific branch in which the maintainer of the plugin um, made some fixes for iOS 10 because um, the way iOS handles notifications has changed a bit. So um, make sure to install that branch. You can check it out also in the according tutorial. Now, finally, if you encounter any problems, uh, you can try to install the latest Ionic native core package. Um, I will simply do this for now, but perhaps you don't need it. Once this is done, uh, we can continue to our app module and make sure to import um, the local notification, uh, okay, local notifications to our providers array, and of course import it from the uh, right package, which is Ionic native, uh, of course not core, but local notifications notifications like this okay so we are done and we go to our home page and first of all let's create a simple button ion button full and on click we simply want to um, schedule our notification so it's a very simple example and close the button now inside our home TS we implement this function and of course we need to import just like we did here our notifications and add it to our constructor. So go ahead and, uh, sorry, what was that? I'm not sure. So go ahead and add private local notifications, local notifications. Okay, um, we also want to um, handle the callback of a notification and inside we want to present an alert controller to our user and we also need the platform right here and you will see why in a second. So inside our schedule notification we can now uh, very easily go ahead and call this dot local notifications and we see all the options. So what we're gonna do is we schedule a notification, um, but you see you can also cancel notifications or get scheduled uh, specific notifications or update them. But the first step of course is to schedule them. And we have to uh, specify some parameters like an ID. Um, this is used if we want to update or get it later. We need a title, of course, which is shown to the user. Uh, let's just say attention. Uh, we can say a text like Simon's notification. And of course, we need a date at which our notification is shown. So we say new date, get time um, plus five seconds. And this is JavaScript milliseconds, so we have to multiply it with uh, 1000 and, oh, of course not. Um, and finally, what we also can do is um, giving in a data object. We're just saying my data and this is my hidden message, this is. So this data will not be visible inside the notification for the user, but you can handle it later inside the callback. And this is what we're gonna implement now. So inside our constructor, we now add also the platform, which we've already imported up here. 
and we need this because uh, we need to check for the ready event because otherwise if we already assign the callback for our local notifications um, the platform might not yet be initialized so uh, whatever here and we would simply not have access to the notification at that time especially now as we just have this app with one page um, directly assigning something to a callover plugin in the constructor um, is very likely to fail so at this point we can be ready that our uh, plugins and noti um, yeah the callover plugins are loaded correctly and now we can go ahead and say local notifications on and uh, we have different options here like uh, trigger when the notification was triggered cancel but we want to use the click event so it was shown to the user and the user has clicked on this little banner and there are two variables which will come into our callback and now we can grab uh, the JSON and use json.parse to convert the notification.data to a JSON object back and this is exactly the data we have passed here. So this comes right back to our callback. And we can go ahead, for example, and create an alert controller. So uh, this is, uh, we need to import it as well, of course. Uh, public alert controller of the type alert controller. Um, this is, of course, just one example how we could handle it. So once the user has clicked on this, uh, we create an alert with, let's say, notification.title. So this is again this title. But now we use as a subtitle uh, our json.myData, oh, not my app, <laughs> sorry, my data, which is exactly this object. Um, if the alert is finished, we can present it. And if we haven't done any mistakes, the app should still compile. But of course, uh, if you have followed some tutorials, you will know that right now this won't work because Cordova plugins won't work inside the browser. So I will build it for iOS and I will show it in the iOS simulator. Um, you will see an error right here if you try to use uh, Cordova plugins. So at this point, make sure to try it on your iOS simulator or Android device, whatever it is. And let's wait a second. All right, I've opened my simulator and when I press schedule inside my app, I get this notification. So my app would like to send you notifications. Of course, I will allow it. And there we already see it. Um, you can check for this uh, of the, if the user has given you access, but uh, the in, uh, local notifications plugin will do this automatically, so we don't really have to take care of it. So let's go and do it again. So we schedule, and five seconds later, we see at the top coming up our local notifications object. And if we now click on it, we get our alert we, with attention and the hidden message with, which was in our data object. So we can also schedule and go to our home screen and wait a second and there it is. If we open it, we get to our app and see the notification again. So this is how you implement local notifications with Ionic 3 or above. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more quick wins, more videos and more tutorials. And if you want more training, make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com. I would love to have you inside the community. So stay tuned until next time and have a great day.